Hi, Greg Bruns with another useful tech tip for you. So in tech service, we get a lot of phone calls where a contractor has replaced a pressure switch because he was getting into pressure switch code. But we also get a lot of contractors that are not properly testing that pressure switch. Well, a pressure switch is only as smart as the acting force on it, which is going to be the vacuum being applied to the pressure switch. So you can't possibly condemn a pressure switch unless you know whether or not it was getting the proper vacuum to close that pressure switch and keep it closed. When you're testing a pressure switch, all of our pressure switches have a vacuum rating stamped on the switch. That vacuum rating is what that switch will open back up at. Not what it takes to close it, but what it opens at. So in order to close that switch, and you guys are not going to have the exact specs out in the field when you're troubleshooting, and nor do you need them. If you just add about 20% to the switch rating you see on that switch, you should be able to pull that vacuum the whole time that furnace is running, and that will be more than enough to close that pressure switch. So as long as you know that, then what we need to do is we need to get a digital manometer, a magnetic gauge, whatever works best for you, and get that meter set up with a vacuum T, pull the hose off going to the pressure switch, tee it into it, and back to the pressure switch. So you can see on your meter, and make sure you zero your meter out, disconnect the hose, zero it, put it back on. Now run the unit and see if you're getting that vacuum. Again, like I said, add 20% to what you see on that switch, and it should be able to close that switch. If you're not getting that vacuum, if that vacuum is not reaching that 20% above that that switch rating, then you're not getting enough vacuum to close the switch and the switch is doing exactly what it was intended to do. If the furnace is running and all of a sudden shuts down, you will also get not get a pressure switch code, the furnace will just shut down and cycle right back up. That could be that pressure switch opening up. So again, we want to tee into that pressure switch and monitor that vacuum while that furnace is running and see if that pressure ever drops below the actual rating you see on that switch. Just so you guys know, you have to take the time to troubleshoot what is happening to in the furnace and is that switch getting enough vacuum before you can actually condemn that switch. Hope you found this tech tip useful. Keep tuning in to edgetechhvac.com for more useful tips.